is committed to supporting that, that ideology that everybody has, that it's a level playing field. Yes, the company is going to be imperfect because we are growing really fast and we're figuring this out. We try stuff, we fail a little bit, we try again. At the same time, that we want to keep this flywheel, this idea of product launches that drive the business, drive the business on a regular basis, right? So you see a new product in early December, you see a new product in early February, see another one that we'll announce today, it'll come out of the summit, and then there'll be maybe another one throughout the year. So, and now what else are you seeing that's happening? Brand new thing, right? Beachbody on demand. We've got $750 of brand new of, of, of catalog product that's being moved into the Beachbody on demand catalog in May. What's going to happen every month that you get people in the Beachbody on demand? For the same $2.99 a week, they're going to see a whole new crop of new product come up there. All of our trainers are working on a new product that's going to go in there. Niches that you never thought we would develop because they wouldn't work for infomercials are now going to go on Beachbody On Demand. Little specialty things, things about rehab, things about sports, concepts that I can't even... <laughs> right now, you are sitting on top of that as the leaders of this business. If you don't have a sense of multi-billions of dollars of potential, you're not thinking big enough. And if your team doesn't have a sense of the multi-billions of dollars of potential and the service that that represents to help people, that it's true that in the community there's going to be this person, that's my Beachbody coach. Oh, who's your Beachbody coach? That's what they're going to say. They're not going to say, my health and wellness advocate. They're going to say, who's your Beachbody coach? Because there's this one company that does it with a comprehensive approach. They make it fun. They make it fit. They make the nutrition work. They have rewards. And we're constantly being more and more creative every single day. Our long-term plan has no horizon. It just goes. And we don't know what it's going to look like, but with the launch of Beachbody On Demand, and some of the stuff that we're about to talk about, I've got to tell you, the creativity that we've got planned out for the next 36 months and the ongoing hard work of fixing technology and aligning customer service and improving coach relations and improving fulfillment and, and improving uh, time of shipment and accuracy of shipment, all that stuff is stuff we sweat every single day. One, because it's part of our core values of commit and deliver on your promises. Technology that we invested in five years ago to solve these very same problems that we've got today. I'm talking five years ago we invested in technology that we had to just write off the books. $35 million of investment because it was the wrong technology. That guy's gone. <laughs> My point is, this is moving so fast that we're trying to get caught up constantly. And we're constantly looking ahead. If you saw the what we call the two-man meeting, it's a Tuesday management meeting, and you felt the intensity, and the, both the intensity and the enthusiasm, and the expectation of excellence in that room, you'd share it with your teams and you'd be like, this, this company's going places. 300,000 coaches is nothing. It's missing, it's missing at least a zero here in North America. It should be three million coaches here in North America. But well, we're not just gonna keep it on our shores. We're gonna go all over the place. So maybe it's missing another zero to be 30 million coaches. Why not, right? I was reading about how Avon is looking to sell their North American unit or what are they gonna do? And I'm like, interesting. So you, you look at the transition of a business, $8.9 billion business. They were the number one uh, network marketing company. They've, I think they're now the number two or number three. Uh, Mary Kay, I think, is number, is number one now. And I look at it and I go, wow, you know, would I be interested in getting that business? Because there's opportunity there. And I'm like, no way. Like, we have something so special here, and it's not about dominating uh, an industry. What it's about is changing people's lives. And that opportunity is so huge. It's so enormous that I hope you feel it, that I hope as you're enjoying this vacation, as you're uh, learning from this vacation, learning from the seminars and the coaches, that you're just a sponge. And you're pulling it all in. And, and what's feeding is the side of the brain that is like positive and sees potential and is extremely creative and validates the trust that you had in the company the day you started and validates the fact that I'm a human being, John, the executive committee, our, our team, 741 human beings 
trying to organize and communicate in a way that is collaborative and cohesive so that you get served better. And it is hard. But I hope that you have belief in us and understand that what we see is the opportunity that these three businesses, direct marketing, infomercial, I'm sorry, direct marketing, network marketing, and now Beachbody Live, have the potential of creating a world-class, because it's not there yet, world-class brand under Beachbody that is truly gonna solve the obesity problem, but even more important than that, it's going to completely revolutionize this concept of wellness. That's gonna happen only with your belief and your ongoing enthusiasm so that the summit that we're looking forward to, 25,000 people or whatever, that eventually, sorry Michael, that's the size of Success Club. Like, that's, that's the kind of leadership that we need from you guys. And on our side, if you continue to bring that leadership and you see the potential that, hey man, if we're gonna be a $5 billion company, that means that two and a half billion, we're gonna have to pay that to somebody. I don't know if you want it, but I bet <laughs> you. know, so we're gonna grow this thing. We're gonna grow this thing to, to fill this void of, that, that, that is crazy that it still exists, because we've been in this for 16, 17 years now of showing that hard work actually pays off. Hard work and, and not a quick fix, not a gadget or a pill um, gets results. And we're still kind of like the only one in there that put the whole thing together. And that's because it's hard what we're doing. Sometimes people will leave the company and uh, we'll sit around and go, oh boy. He knows a lot about this business. He knows a lot about what we do. And then we're like, oh, wait a minute. We're still trying to make this work. Good luck to him if he decides to go do it on his own. It is hard what we are trying to do because it has never been done. But the potential is huge. And the, the, the battle cry that we've got every Monday and every Tuesday when we hit the ground running is that there are hundreds of millions of people that we can serve. And that translates to billions of dollars of wealth that can be created. And by the way, let's say you're not even in the mood. Like, like for you, ah, a million dollars a year would be good. I don't need to make $10 million a year, but a million would be pretty cool. Or $100,000 would be pretty cool. But if you're a leader that has the potential to create $250,000 in value because you're that good, I hope you never stop working so hard. Because keep the 100 grand. If that's all you need, that's great. But take the 150 grand and do something powerful with it. Give it away to somebody. Give it to your church. Help, help some charity. What you got is a gift that needs to be deployed. And I'll say this to leaders. I'll say this to people who have been there, done that. We want you back. We want you reinvigorated because we all have to do what we've learned here and continue to deploy it. That's what the company's committed to do because we've got something special here. And whether we're trying to create wealth for ourselves or just bring up this value so that we can share it with others, we have to do that. It's an imperative that we do that. You have that potential. There's almost 2,000 of you coaches here at this leadership event or at this uh, success club event. You are the leaders. We need you to see past what your own needs are and say, hey, if I can bring up more value, you might have been a top coach, you might have been a top 10 coach, you might have been former elite. We need you to bring up that value and then do something with the money if you don't need it. But bring up that value because that represents that you're helping people. And helping people comes in many forms. Helping people comes in, right now what we're seeing is, uh, is you know, fitness and wellness with Shakeology and Ultimate Reset, three-day refresh, and, uh, and th that, there's sort of stages that people go through when they get involved with the company. They start, they want to improve their health, and then they say, hey, there's a financial opportunity, and they sort of step up to this next day. Uh, let, me, let me combine my health and wellness with my financial opportunity. And then they say, wait a minute, I can help people around me get healthy and fit, and I can help people around me build wealth for themselves. See how this thing grows? Positive, 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 positive. Two, three, four, okay? But then something happens in this next step that I think is magical. Because our best leaders are recognizing each one of these steps. So I get it on my Facebook page every, mostly every Thursday, and I can see the leaders that are recognizing their teams. I recognize that somebody just joined my challenge group, and they'll tag me, that's cool. I, they recognize that somebody just became a coach, and they tag me, that's cool. 
They recognize that that person is creating wealth and starting to build their own team and uh, achieving and, and helping people achieve wealth. And they're recognizing when people are achieving higher ranks, like paying off mortgages and so on, okay? What's, what's happening? What's the other outcome? Self-esteem is going up. I don't know of another business, another company, where self-esteem goes up by virtue of these things happening. And I, I call that the sort of the fourth mystery vital behavior, recognition. And I hope we all get in a, a bigger habit of recognizing each one of those things. Go ahead and tag me in it. But that's leadership. That's how you continue to bring your people along, is recognize their successes along the way. And what we're going to find is that the fitness programs that we launch, they don't all have to be the 21 day fix. They don't all have to be the Insanity Max 30. They don't all have to be Pio or P90X3 or Brazil Butt Lift or even Beach Body On Demand because each one of them, as we recognize, we're gonna see that there are new opportunities with each launch and that brings a new batch of people in. Speaking of which, I think we're about to bring a new batch of people in. Right. When we uh, started the company, everybody said that hard work uh, will never sell. And uh, I remember we were at this lunch and we showed people that what we had in mind with Power 90 and they were like, oh, you're showing people who do work, hard work on an infomercial? Well, that will never work. And uh, we were like, well, it's kind of fitness and it feels, John and I were like, well, I would do that. I wouldn't do that stair-stepper thing or whatever. So we're like, let's, let's give that a shot. That, you know, maybe there's a million people like us out there. And that has evolved over time. And uh, we've been talking about putting together a program as we saw the success of the more intense programs. Obviously, uh, P90X was the one that really sort of raised the bar. Uh, and then after that, Insanity really raised the bar, and then Turbo Fire, and Asylum, and uh, the P90X2 and P90X3. And then, uh, in terms of the extreme programs, 21 Day Fix Extreme. And we saw that people, there's a certain component of people that just like to work harder. Now, there's also a component of people that like to work hard, but the concept of fitness to work hard is not all that exciting to them. They want to work hard, but this idea of calisthenics, push-ups, lifting, and whatever, they need to have some other mental component that will engage them so that they get their fitness in. Okay, some of you are already aware of it, but none of you have seen it to this extent. So, uh, if you guys are ready, oh, yeah. I'd like to give you a peek at what's coming, uh, Summit 2015. I introduce to you the end of exercise. Please roll the clip. End of exercise. You know, with my fitness programs, like, Woo! I just yeah! to to work out. With dance, people are going to want to dance. It's just like you're at the post 
post office and somebody walks by your shoulder and you like move. You can be like move. So let me just set this up for a second, what we had in mind, what we visualized with this, because I remember the conversation where we uh, first talked about it, and that is that, look, there's other dance programs out there. We even have Rock and Body and Hip Hop Abs. But what you saw in that video was an intensity of dance that I think brings something completely different to it. So just like there was fitness before our extreme programs, there was dance but nothing that, that expected so much of you. Like a professional dancer, there's something higher about this, yes. right? Yeah, what I, what I think is amazing about it, and just to be clear, so everyone's looking at that like, holy crap, like, oh my God, like, am I gonna be able to do that? The way the program is set up is that you're basically starting out from nothing. Like, if you've never danced before, like I said, you at the post office, somebody walks by your shoulder. You know, let me try something, stand up for me. <laughs> <laughs> So every day you dance, like seriously, every day you dance, you just don't have a beat. So there are different things you do. Hey, there are different things you do every day. You wash the dishes, you go to the bathroom, you brush your teeth. So I'm gonna ask Carl to yell out just something that he does in every day. So maybe give me one thing you do every day. Make my shape. You make your shape. So boom, boom. Okay. So here we go. Five, six, step two, times out. Make the shape. Okay. Boom. Okay, cool. So, give me something else you do. No, hold on, no, wait. Okay. Because, because this is the point I want to make. Oh, uh, okay. So, so, because you, you saw the difference. Okay, let's make the shape again. Okay, let's okay. look at the difference between us, okay? So, I'm making the shape, and he's like, he's kind of making the shape. Right. You're going to make the shape right now. Shape. Right? <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, boom, ha! Um, let's see, then I uh, check my Facebook. Alright, so he checks his Facebook. So he hit, hit, check the book. <laughs> so it's just hit, and you just turn out, check your Facebook. Eight, five, six, seven, eight. Hit, and check the book. Six, seven, step it out, turn it out, and two. Boom. Uh, then I get on the phone and yell at customer service. Okay, cool. So, you check, make the shake, check your book, get on the phone and yell. Okay. So you hit steps, you hit, hit, boom. Okay. So it's just right, left, right. All right. Just, just do the right, left, right. Five, okay. Six, seven, go. A right, left, right. You got that, but you okay. got to go on the phone on the right phone. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Get on the phone. Right? Okay. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Let's do it two more times. Okay. Five, six, you know the yo. Yes, five. <laughs> he has no idea what I'm doing. Five, six, seven, eight. Get on the phone and go. Yeah. Oh, just take it out. All right. All right. Got it. So, one, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, eight. That's one eight count of something that you do every single day. That's how it's in there. You want to try this one? That's it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Five, six, Make the shape. Check your Facebook. Get on the phone. Yell at them like what? to a beat, I'm teaching you, I'm very low key, the, the dancing behind me are going for a little bit more than I am because I want you to learn. But what we do is we size it up to a popular song that you know and love. 
Nice. I don't know if you know this song, but this is one of my favorite songs. All right? You ready to tell us what? I'll count you in. <laughs> Can I get the volume up?